on, Dante. This isn't over yet. Say the name. Say the name. Virgil? Virgil. I don't know who you are. Or why you have been stupid enough to attack me. But I know you mean something to this girl. So I suspect this girl means something to you. I also know that you are collaborating with the Nephilim. I want the Nephilim. You want the girl. We trade their lives. Interesting. Interesting. Mandus knows less than I thought. He knows my name, but that's it. Not that I'm your brother, nor that I'm Nephilim. She must have been strong to hold out. Yeah, she did well. But we can't save her. What do you mean? You can't seriously think that I would trade your life for hers. No, I'm not saying... Apart from the fact that you're my brother, you're the key no, to destroying... No, I'm not money. saying we trade me for her. I'm saying we offer another trade. Captain Mundus' mistress, Lilith. Why would Mundus care about one of his whores? Because she carries his child. What? How can you know this? When I was at the tower, I met a demon named Phineas. He told me. Yes, I I've heard that name. This is amazing. We have access to Mundus's unborn child? This is exactly what we need to get him out of his lair. No, we use this to save Cat! Dante, that's madness. You would risk the future of mankind for a girl. Cat put herself through hell to protect us. We'll find another way to get Mundus. Dante. I am not 
abandoning her. I can see that. Okay. We'll do it your way, brother. There it is. Menace's mistress, Lilith, runs an exclusive club downtown for high society. Sports personalities, rich kids, bankers, that kind of thing. Demonic substances flow freely. She hooks the pathetic weasels on the stuff, turning them into soulless demon collaborators. Whoa, she'll be there tonight. You're not coming in. You're not on the list. I am now. Maybe you have to die. 